Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquery of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams International, we meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College and we meet at the Life Cathedral in the Zoe Chapel. We worship on Sundays in the morning, 7 to 9, and then uh, for the first service, we worship 7 to 9 for the first service in the morning and then 10 to 12 in the afternoon for the second service. Now, uh, this morning I'd like to um, dedicate this to my geography teacher. Um, my geography teacher and the senior housemaster uh, when I was in Preston Boys Secondary School, Presec, you know, the famous National Science and Math Quiz, yeah, 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 you know. Uh, now, and um, he asked me a question. I remember preaching on uh, get off my boat. That means, uh, and I was talking about Jonah who uh, became a liability to the captain of the ship. And so the best way is to g get rid of him. I mean, uh, throw Jonah out of, the, out of the boat of your life, and then the storms of your life would, be, would cease. And then he asked me a question, and he said, how would you know whether somebody is a Jonah in your boat of destiny? How would you know whether somebody is a Jonah in your purpose? And I said, all right, so I fired him a few things, but um, just to share what I shared with him and just to share that for everybody else to benefit from. There are some people who would enter your boat and they carry their own storm. And sometimes when they enter your, your boat of life, they get associated with you one way or the other. They bring trouble and ceaseless trouble so far as they are there with you. And how would you know? I jotted down a few points and this time, Forgive me if I bend my head down every because I can rattle them all off, off, uh, off the cuff like that. Number one, they join your boat and there's not much info about them. So these are associations, you don't know everything about them. It's, it's, it's virtually impossible to do a full, uh, uh, what we call it, uh, uh, done in Bright Street on them. That is to, to do a few investigation on them, to, 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 do, to investigate them thoroughly. You know, you, there's, Jonah joins the captain's boat, and the captain knows nothing about it. He just knows him as a passenger. But if you had known him as a passenger, carrying uh, under divine judgment, he would have thought twice. He wouldn't have entertained him in his boat. So, boy, you are carrying a lot of things on your head, and I don't want to be a part of it. But one way or other, he joined um, the, uh, the captain's boat. So he looked like a profitable venture. He looked like a profitable venture. But in actual fact, he became a very big exercise in loss. He looked profitable. He, was, he had potential for profit. But in actual fact, he became a huge gaping hole of loss. So number one, you don't have a lot of information on them. Background checks yield very little. Number two, they do not carry any cargo to add to your cargo. Jonah just came and just joined the boat. Whilst others had cargo that they were putting into the, the cargo to ferry to the next side of, 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 of the sea or whatever it is, Jonah didn't have any cargo. So he just came. So you see, those people don't add to what you have. They don't bring addition to the, they, 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 don't, they, they don't supply. They, they rather, they come free ride. They are not an additional to your purpose. They don't add thought. They don't add principle. They don't add energy. They don't add talent. They don't add treasures. And they just come and settle in your, in, your, in your boat. I mean, that's one of the things about Jonah. He didn't bring any cargo. Others had cargo. I mean, others had investments. But Jonah didn't bring any investment. Now, the next thing. When trouble comes, they don't care. When the, storms were, when the storms were raging and the ship was being torn, uh, the ship was being 
uh, torn here and there. I mean, and all sort of things was was happening. The ship was was on the brink of shipwreck, and it was going to be a disaster. Whilst everybody was scared, whilst everybody was praying, whilst everybody was screaming for dear life, Jonah was asleep. So here's the principle. The number three, they don't care about the system. They don't care about your church. They don't care about them. All they are is just about them. They don't care what happens. It is their, 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 their comfort. The ship, I mean, there's a storm raging, and you are asleep in the storm. That was Jonah. He didn't care about the Nama. If even if they they pretend to be, but in reality they don't care. So they pretend they they care, but in reality they don't care. When the ship goes down, they don't care. And whether the ship sails, they don't care. For them, they are asleep. The next principle, understand, you will lose precious relationships because of them. Good God given relationships of destiny will be sacrificed because of them. You will lose good relationships because of those people. They carry a storm with them. Guess what? Jonah uh, entered a boat and other people had cargo in it. But in the midst of a storm, the people began to offload their cargo and throw their cargo into the sea. So they were losing precious cargo and the guy responsible for all the mess was asleep. Listen, if a Jonah enters your boat, you have no other option. Get rid of him. Throw him out. There's a, a, a whale ready to swallow him. If you don't throw him out, you'll suffer shipwreck. And for you, you don't have the divine insurance of a whale. Sharks are waiting in the water to tear you up. Get out of my boat. See you later. Part two.